and now it says key slot zero, which is the default key slot or password slot, unlocked, command successful. You can also have, here's another advantage to Lux. You can have multiple passwords for the same partition. That's what's great. Check it out. If you want somebody else to be able to access your, for example, you got two users on your computer, like you and your girlfriend or something, and um, you, or, well, maybe not your girlfriend, because I'm sure you'll share your password with her, but like you and your cousin or you and your brother, somebody, I don't care. If you got two people that you want to allow access to it, but you don't want them having your password, because maybe that's a password you commonly use because it's easy to remember, uh, and you don't want to create a new password just for this because you'll probably forget it, then you can actually, there's, I believe, up to six password slots for every encrypted partition, which means you can create six different passwords to access that same partition. It's great. It's lovely. Um, so you can give somebody else a different password to access the same partition. Anyway, key slot zero is the, the first one that we created, the only one, so it's slot zero, which is the first slot. Okay, now it's open, and we have to actually... Um, hmm. I don't remember. Damn it. Crypt set up Lux. Uh, I believe it puts it in ma Dev Mapper. Hold on. Um, list Dev Mapper. Yeah, there it is. Data X. Okay, now it puts this device we just opened. And we gave, like I said, we gave it an alias of D Data X. So it puts that as a block device in the Dev Mapper folder. Um, it, it lists it in there as a block device now that it's opened it and uh, has access to it. So now we need to mount Data X, and we have to have a place to mount it to. I don't actually have a folder, so let me make a directory. Make dir, M K D I R, make directory, and then I'm going to give it a forward slash data. Y, that's the directory name. Now I just made one. Now we're gonna type mount dev. Actually, no. Uh, before we mount it, we have to format it or um, um, put a file system on it. Put a. So we're, we're gonna type. Um, let's see. Make fs dot ext two. Because it's a four gigabyte flash drive, we don't want a journaling file system. Uh, it's already limited on space. Um, make FS extension two, and then we're gonna give it should be dev mapper data dash x, but we might have to refer it. No such file or, or directory. Oh, uppercase x. All right, now we're making a file system on the partition because when you create when you change the block device, now like I, I should have pointed out, when I just formatted this with Lux, I did not format our partition on it. I actually formatted the entire freaking hard drive or flash drive. You're actually supposed to make a partition and format that. I didn't do that. I kind of uh, just took, took the entire block device. So if you're using a hard drive partition and you have other partitions on your hard drive, make damn sure that you type dev uh, HDA or SDA, SDB1, SDA1, SDA3, whatever it is, make sure you put the partition number with the device name. Otherwise, it'll wipe out everything on that device um, because you're specifying that you want Lux to encrypt the entire drive and not a partition on the drive like I just did. I told it to wipe out the partition tables, wipe out everything, and just make the whole drive encrypted. Um, which I, like I said, was not really semantically correct. Okay, so anyway, we just made an extension to file system on the drive. The entire drive is an extension to file system encrypted with Lux. Now we got to mount it. All right, so we're going to type mount and then forward slash dev forward slash mapper forward slash data dash x and we're going to mount it to forward slash data dash y. Alright, now we should have any mini money mo catch a gigabyte. Okay, there it is. 3.5 gigabytes. That's our four gigabyte hard drive. And we can verify that by going out and back into the root directory and it's I have 7.2 gigabytes of free space. But going in here I only have 3.5. That is our flash drive. Lost and found is any data that might have been on it. 
when you formatted it. So let's go ahead and remove the lost and found directory. Uh, rm uh, data dash y and then l asterisk and then space dash r uppercase or lowercase. Nope, it's uppercase. And I actually okay hit Y to remove it alright now I can't create anything in here okay so we're gonna change the owner change own Alex colon admins that's username colon group name and forward slash data dash Y and space dash uppercase R lowercase C invalid group Alex admin Oh, admins. All right. And we're going to change mod to 775. And use the same flags. All right. Now we're good to go. We can start doing stuff. We'll give this folder a name. We'll open that folder, create a file called file name and we'll open that file and type some words and save that file all right and now let's let's unmount it type u mount forward slash data dash y that's all you gotta type it, if I'm not gonna cover how that works or why but uh We'll assume you already are familiar with fire, file system commands and stuff like that. Uh, if not, I can't teach you. It's beyond the scope of this article. You'll have to actually look under uh, the system administration category on LinuxCenter.com to learn about that. All right. So we just unmounted it. Does that mean we can't access it? No, because Lux still has it open as a device. See, check it out, home skillet. List forward slash dev forward slash mapper. There you see it, data X. It's still it's still um, linked as a device or opened up as a device with Lux. So now we gotta type uh, C R Y P T crypt setup, all one word, Lux close uppercase C. And then you only now have to refer to it by its alias, data dash X. You don't have to type the full path. Because Lux, that's that's a Lux alias. It, it's system alias. It knows what it is. Now, list dev mapper. It's gone. Now you cannot access it. Now, if you want to access it, you have to know the password, and you have to use Lux to access it. For example, four gigabyte media. Unable to mount volume details. Uh, standard uh, mount error. All right. So watch mount dev sdi to data dash y unknown file system type crypt lux cannot mount it lux has to access this device lux is the only thing that can access this device so to and ever to and able to open it well you have to, to go through the whole lick lux open process and then mount it with the lux uh with the standard mount command use the lux open to give it a device alias and then tell mount to mount that device to a folder but Lux is the one that has to open it before the system can even access it. That's the old school way of doing things. Command line and this and that and all that fancy shit. Now here's the new school way. Check this out. 